I've been getting a couple questions. People have been asking me how can they fit their ad routine in with, I don't know, their leg routine or their arm routine or their chest routine. <laughs> Here's what I've come up with through experience. The, the first thing is, I'm going to tell you what not to do. The first thing that you shouldn't do is try to train your abs every day. Everybody always says, well, I heard it's good to not train your abs every day. I heard it's, tra I heard it's good to train your abs every day. Well, your muscles, your, your abs are just like any other muscle, just like your delts, your biceps. Like, Do you train those every day? I'm sure you don't. You got to give them time to recover. So... What you would want to do is instead of trying to fit this long, drawn out ad routine into maybe a th three or four day a week thing on top of your long leg workouts or your long chest workouts or your long back workouts, here's 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 what you can do. One, you can break down these ad workouts just like just like you do any other muscle. You tr you may train biceps and triceps on one day. You may train chest and triceps on one day. Do the same thing with your abs. So if you want to train abs, but you don't have a lot of time to fit the ab routine in, train obliques one day. And then maybe the next day or every or the the day after that, then dang. Wait after you train obliques. And maybe take the next day off and then the day after that, then you may can hit upper abs. You, you might have a couple exercises you want to do for upper abs. Then train your lower abs. And then maybe later on in the week, you can do your lower back or something like that. That's a good way to allow yourself enough time, not only enough time to recover, but it can, it can really maximize your time in the gym. I, I like to preach that to the novice and intermediate lifters who come to me for advice like just make sure you maximizing your time in the gym don't spend a lot of time like i <laughs> i love my workout partner to death he knows that and i i've we had this conversation before so it's not like i'm saying something that's gonna catch him off guard and i'm not trying to troll him or insult him but a lot of times he'll want to come in the gym and he'll just want to work just triceps and i'm like that's really not maximizing your time we can get a lot more done by doing chest and triceps or shoulders and triceps or biceps and triceps. Like we can just get a lot more done that way instead of just targeting. Like I know a guy who used to always want to work forearms and calves. I'm like, well, you know, if you do enough pull-ups, I mean, your forearms will, your forearms will develop. If you do enough barbell curls, your forearms will develop. I had another guy who used to always Oh, my calves won't grow. My calves won't grow. So he just want to do all calves. Like I don't have an hour to waste to just do all calves. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not insulting these people. I'm not trying to knock them for what they do. But I just feel like there's you can maximize your time in the gym by mixing together a few different things without wasting a lot of time on one body part. I know people have body parts that just, they just stubborn and won't grow and calves is one of them. But I think there's ways you can make your calves grow without doing an hour long calf workout. You know what I mean? Like you could do something. You could, you could take your calf workout to the next level by doing like some, some pause reps or something like that for calves. You can add uh, weighted calf work. You can do one calf at a time. I mean, it's ways that you can maximize your time in the gym without wasting a lot of time on one body part. If your triceps won't grow, then it's ways that you can... Triceps actually t can take a beating, believe it or not. That's one muscle that can that can really take a battering. And what I've learned through my own training experience is that I've hit 
triceps three times a week and I take one day and hit triceps on my chest day. Okay. All right. So I'm hitting them directly and I'm hitting them indirectly and directly on this day. Same thing on my arm day. Yes, I do an arm day. Big deal. Arm day, biceps and triceps. Okay. Nothing heavy on those days. Just something light. Um, just some, not light, but maybe some hypertrophy, maybe eight to 12 reps for whatever bicep and tricep exercise I'm doing. Then I hit triceps again for my shoulder workout. I've hit triceps three times in one week. And the reason I did that because I really wanted my bench press numbers to go up and they have, if you've been keeping up with the videos, you've noticed that my bench press went from me barely getting 315 to me barely getting 405. I think I would say that's some progress. So that those are just some ways you can maximize your time in the gym and be very efficient and, and see some gains. So I just wanted to talk to y'all about that because a lot of people have been asking me how they can fit certain things into their routine without having to be in the gym all day or all night. Because, every, I mean, if you like me, you got a family, you got a wife, you got a girlfriend, you got parents who love you i mean you just you ha you have other obligations you got work you know you got things that you like to do you some of y'all like to go out and drink i mean it is what it is but you we all got things that we like to do and we just rather not spend three four hours in the gym me personally i like being in the gym but i don't like being in there three four hours i just be honest with you so oh also let me take this time out to congratulate my good friend Darrell Moore, aka Strength Team, on 10,000 subscribers. Man, you got people looking at you from all over. You got it. You got them in Japan, China, the UK. Man, that's what's up, man. I told you one day, man, we gonna have that. We gonna have that Olympia booth next to each other. We all gonna be in one booth. But I'm just hoping I can just learn a few things from you. And we, hey man, keep it going, man. Congratulations. Just like you just blew up overnight. And hopefully I'll be next. Me and Christian and Train, all us, we, you know, we'll all be at 10,000 subscribers soon. Maybe not by the end of this year, but hopefully maybe the middle of next year, people will finally see what they've been missing out on. Like, uh, our three channels, like, this is probably the best kept secret. But, that, you know what, I ain't even going to get into that. Anyway, again, like, subscribe, reshare.